Hello, everybody. Um, welcome back to Getting Artsy with Cindy. We're going to, I wanted to do a slider card and we're going to use our penguin stamp set, our new one. So I hope you guys had a great week. We're going to actually be playing with our penguin plunge stamp set, the stamps, the dies, and the paper. But again, I wanted to share this one with you. This is just chilling. And I think it's a really fun slider card. And, whoops, got the wrong side. I'm looking backwards. So when you pull this, look at this. Isn't that cute? So the words kind of hide. And we're using two different layers here. So I'm, I'm hiding the slider mechanism on this one. So we will... Um, share that on a different day but i wanted to again if you guys love penguins we have lots of stamp sets that have penguins so we are going to do another one we're going to do another slimline card and again it's using our penguin plunge stamp set so i'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around um okay so we're using a slimline format i do eight and a half wide by seven and a half and then i score it so that it ends up being three and three quarters by eight and a half so it's one simple cut on your eight and a half by 11 piece of paper which i think is great i like things that are easy and simple so then i've got all these pieces cut um because i didn't think you guys needed to see me cut a bunch of stuff on the camera so this is again part of the north pole holidays paper collection i love the penguins on this side and then i love this pattern kind of cool pattern and then we're going to decorate the inside of the card too and this is more of the paper these are the yetis and i like the snowflake and then this is a fun package on the one side and a nice kind of different kind of a red on the other side so we're just going to put that there for now so you're going to notice that the edges are curved because I just had my dies out. Um, I thought I just had them sitting here, but here's my stash. It was kind of messy, but this is the rectangle slim framelits. So it's just got this nice inside outside dot and the nice curved edges. And then that's what it's going to give you all, lots of different layers. So I love that. So that's going to be our base. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the base. Okay. And I wanted some of these penguins to show. So this just fits really nicely on there. All right, then I took um, another, another piece, the exact same size as the base, and I cut out, I used our wavy slimline dies. So I used this wavy one. Actually, this is from the, cur the curvy, the curvy one. I just threw it in this package. No, it's in this one. Never mind. I lied. Wavy slimline die. That's got the, the really fun short waves. So I did, I used that. This die also has what's this little piece here. It's a, it's a slider mechanism for a slimline or well, a longer card, but I wanted our slider to be shorter. So instead of using that one, and you could just cut a rectangle out, but I had these little, these little mini borders. And so I'm using this skinny one here. I don't want to use one too thick because I'm going to be using too wide anyway, because I'm going to be using a penny and I didn't want it to fall through. So I'm using this one. So that's this piece. So when I cut that part off, I'm going to position it. I really wanted this penguin to show. So there's really no it doesn't have to be angled any particular way. I just want I just kind of positioned it so some of my extra penguins are going to show. 
And then I took this piece and just, most of the sliders are just straight across. That's what I would have done with this one. And it goes straight across. For this one, since it's at an angle, which is not your normal positioning, I decided to go ahead and keep the slider mechanism showing. So when you're pulling the tab, it makes sense that you're pulling it down because otherwise I thought if I hit it, normally you would think to pull sideways and it wasn't gonna slide very well. So I went ahead and we're gonna use this one and we're gonna show, show the slider. But I didn't want these little ping blends to show be behind when you're sliding and I didn't want that background to be there. I thought that would look a little bit odd. So I just took another piece of the snowflakes and I just trimmed it off and I want to make sure that it's going to be hidden. Again, just a scrap piece of paper so that it hides behind the, um, the main piece. Again, if I left that out, you can see, you would see uh, when we'd slide, you'd see the darker blue behind and I didn't want it to be that noticeable. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Denise. Hi, Melody. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go in just a little bit so, um, so you don't see it when we put our other layer on here. There's lots of different ways to do them. So you guys may have done it a different way and that's totally fine. And um, you can share, if you guys are in our artsy community, I'd love to see what you guys have made. What slider cards you guys have made. Okay, so this is gonna go on here. Now, I really want it to slide well, so I don't want it to be totally flat. I want, um, I'm gonna, I want this to be lifted up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and use our foam tape. And I'm gonna put it all the way around the edge. I'm not going to attach it yet. Cindy did sliders years ago using pennies. We are using, yes, we're using pennies, good. Yeah, there's, um, I know there's other little slider plastic coin things you can use. Um, and I have done that too, but it's like, well, well, I have a ton of pennies, so it was the easiest. The slimline size, I think, is great for these sliders because it gives you more, uh, more area to slide. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go right up to the edge. That's a little bit close, so hopefully that's not going to be a problem. You know what? Let me, let me snip that. It might run into that a little bit. So I'll just make a little room. It actually might be good that it stops it. I don't know. We'll just play with it. So we didn't turn the air conditioning off. We got the, it was so hot in here. And then I thought, okay, we'll just turn it on for a little bit. It might get really loud. So I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. So now we have that. If you just go up, um, just it'll, it won't turn off automatically. Huh? It, 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 okay, go back to like 75 and it'll turn off by itself, which is <laughs> not automatic. Um, okay, so <laughs> pretty soon it's going to be 95 degrees in here. Um, okay, so here we go. Here is our next piece. Now, we don't want to put this down until we have our slider piece ready to go because we'll want to. So what we're doing is we're taking our penny and I'm using, um, I'm using the foam tape, this foam tape. This is slightly thicker than my, um, than my other foam tape. And I just wanted it to be, to stand out a little bit more. So what you wanna do is cut a piece, see here, turned off, <laughs> cut a piece that is um, really close to the width of this. If it's too if it's too narrow, then it'll slide around too much, and you don't want it too tight that it doesn't slide. So I'm left a little bit. I'm going to take my penny, and if you have if your penny's got the little 
Uh, let me see if I have an older penny. So the older penny actually has, you know, the capital on there, and I'm going to put that right in the center. It just kind of helps me position it. Okay, so this is going to go behind here. It's going to go, you know, it's going to sit behind that. But um, I guess we can slip it in afterwards. Let's go ahead and put this down. Okay. Because... I don't think it's too tight that I won't be able to get it in without, once I get this on here. We are going to, um, I think Taylor might have posted it already, but in about two weeks, we're going to do, on, on our live, I'm gonna make a backpack using our new papers. So um, if you wanna make it with me, you can, go you know make sure you have your backpack die or order it because we'll I'm, you guys will have plenty of time to get it in before then if you guys want to make it with me okay so there's that now i can go ahead and slide my penny down just lift that up carefully so that you can slide your penny in here so now this can move back and forth and if it's too sticky you can take some powder and tap the edges of the foam tape before you put your other piece on. So it just kind of powders up that uh, side of the penny so it won't be sticky. I think this one will be fine. Okay. Now we're just going to peel that up. All right. Before I add my little penguin, we're going to do our slider piece. Let me move that over for just a second. So to do our slider piece, I actually just used that same die and I cut the, um, I didn't, I wanted the slider piece to be kind of blend in too. So I just cut it out of the same paper and then I cut two more just plain good sturdy cardstock because if this, if you're going to be pulling, pulling this, I didn't want it to be too flimsy. So let's go ahead and we're just going to layer that up. And again, I'm, I'm layering three pieces together. How many of you are done with your holiday Christmas cards? Let's go ahead and add another one. And can you believe Halloween is just around the corner? I mean, it's mid-September already. So do any of you guys do Halloween cards? Okay, so now I've got this it's, and it's a little bit sturdier. Now to make a little pull tab, I just took, I had our, my, our square dies. I don't have a, a little arrow right now. So just our little, our square framelits, the smallest one is this nice little size. And so I, um, I glued two of them together and just slide down. I to totally messed her up. Okay. And then just. Okay, again, just I'm layering just to um, make it a little more sturdy. All right, so <laughs> some somebody leave a comment so I know you're you know you're with us. Missy's freaking out over here. Okay. <laughs> And <laughs> there we go. Watching and enjoying. Oh, good. Thanks, All right. Harriet. Thanks, Harriet. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday. Everybody's sleeping. <laughs> All right. All right. So I could have left it pointy, and um, but I just wanted it to round it a little bit. So I just made this teeny little arrow, and I'm going to just attach it to the outside. And that's what I did. Voila, here it is. So again, it's a nice 
extra sturdy piece and that's going to be our pull tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this. I'm going to slide this over, make sure it's nice and horizontal and centered in here. All right. And then I'm going to make sure my piece is, whoops, don't go back down yet. Okay. I'm going to make sure this is lined up in the center of that. So when it's sliding, it's going to be fitting right in there. And then I'm going to drop it right on the edge of that penny. There we go. Okay. So now let's just test it. So this is going to go back and forth and our snowflakes kind of blend in. And as you notice, this is swinging around a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and put another penny in and then this will make our this will create our stopper. I just have to figure out where, you know, I'm not going to do it until we get our little penguin on. Okay. So here's one of our penguins and we are going to this. So what we're going to do on this card, it's going to say, oops, I slipped and forgot your birthday. So we're going to actually put that up here. So what I wanted him to look like is that he is actually falling. So I'm going to put him kind of angled. So we're going to do right here and I'm just going to use glue here. There we go. Make him look like he's kind of falling. So what I love about this stamp set is that you can use it for the holidays or birthday. So here he is. Now see this, you could leave it like that to wiggle around, but I think I just want it to be straight. So to be straight, we're going to put another penny in here. This time I'm going to put it in before I put my tape on. There we go. All right. So let's just cut another piece off and I'm just cutting a hair off of there so that I know this fits. Okay, there we go. Now, if I left this attached right here, then I'm only going to slide to where that penny is, right? So that doesn't, that's not very fun. That doesn't slide very far. So I just try and decide where I want, how far I want him to go, which is about there. So I want it to slide further. So that means this is going to be, let's make sure I got it right. Once it gets there, that's going to be about right. All right, so I'm going to take the little sticky off. Again, just by giving it two points, it's going to, um, it'll stop that. It'll make create that little stopper there. I know and it won't slide anymore. I'm not going to touch that really hard until I get it in, make sure I'm right. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Okay, so now it doesn't wiggle quite as much but it still slides and it stops right there. So I think that's really cute. Okay, and again, by doing your slider and the piece behind it, the same, the same pattern, it blends and it makes it really subtle that way. So let's go ahead and finish this up. So here is our um, sentiment. I already put the foam tape on the back and we're just gonna put this up in this corner Maybe his eyes are peeking over. There we go. All right. Here, so there's the front of the card. And then again, with a slimline card, you have so much white space. So what we're gonna do is decorate the inside. Let's go ahead and I just cut, we could, yeah, we could do the, we could, do them on the inside. Oh, but that's gonna, it's gonna cover them so much we don't really see them. So I think we will stick with the snowflakes. So again, with your slimline cards, cause a lot of people, the biggest complaint about slimline cards is there's too much white space, right? So by layering it up, you're going to, um, bring your eye into the center of the card and it has a little bit, um, it just, um, it's just a little more pleasing to look at instead of all of the 
white space. The other thing you can do, you know, our paper always comes with some borders. So you could always, you know, just add like a border to the inside, but maybe down at the bottom, keep it simple. I mean, that would be a pretty, um, just a pretty inside too. But that's not what we're doing this time. So for this one, we're gonna go ahead and center this. Again, this is our, our uh, framelits, our rectangle framelits that have the nice curved edge. Okay, now we need to add a sentiment to the inside of this. And what we're gonna do, the sentiment that we're using is, let me get my thing out here. Hope you have an ice birthday because we're just talking about birthdays. So I thought this would be cute. What's great about these, because it's so thin, you can curve it. You could totally, if, if you wanted it straight, my suggestion is that you just kind of drop it. If you drop it, it's gonna drop. So you just drop it, it's gonna drop flat and straight. I mean, you just, you can just barely touch it to, to move it, but that's kind of boring. So what we're gonna do is I want this to be curvy. So we're gonna figure out where I'm gonna start and just drop it down there to start with. And then I can open it up. Okay, we're gonna be here. I, I have to think upside down here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna position this guy. <laughs> okay, this looked easier than I thought. No, okay, I'm gonna position it so that, um, Let's see, we can kind of just curve it, kind of make it fun, a little curve. All right, now let's get it back in position and see if I'm going in the right direction. Okay, so, oh, see there, that's so fun. So, you guys can see that. I was turning it around for you guys. That's funny. Okay, let's, um, I think that looks good. All right, so let's ink it up. And make sure you get your magnets on here so it doesn't go moving around. And I think that's I feel like this is in, yeah, always working seasoned, backwards upside down. Seasoned that stamp. Um I had not yet. Um so but with Misty, if I just hit it a couple times. It works real nice. Can you see it? It's, if I get too close, it's blurry. Okay. Um, but yeah, for me, when I use a new stamp, I, I literally just stamp a couple times. I don't wash them or anything. I never seem to need to. So anyway, I just think the curve is a little more fun than just straight across. And then we're just gonna center that on there. So the, I used to, when I first started designing the stamps, I would do some sentiments that were already curvy, but then that really limits you. So by doing just a thin straight one, it gives you the option to either, ha either have it straight or have it curved. So I like doing that better. I think we need something on the inside. So we have, um, in, on our paper, we have cute little presents. So I think these would be really cute here. And then this leaves you plenty of room to sign something. So let's go ahead and add some packages. Since it is a birthday. I mean, these would be cute for Christmas too. Again, it's kind of a, a little unique color palette for, for Christmas. Okay, so this one is gonna be flat. And then you guys know me. We are going to pop the other two up. So a little there. And a little there. And this one. Since this is, um, this is the inside of a card, but this foam tape is just pretty, it's not too bulky, so I don't have a problem popping stuff on the inside too, so 
I have all these little green pieces like all over. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do we have any football fans out there? Do you guys have a favorite team? Ours is uh, here in Kansas City, the Kansas City Chiefs. They had a game last night. Um, was fun to watch. It was a very exciting game. We didn't win, but it was exciting. I think we'll go down here and then maybe do this one. So it kind of follows that little arch a little bit, which I think is kind of fun. And then we can always put another little penguin on the inside since we have it and we have the space. So foam tape again. All right. And these. All right, down below. Oh, let's do him up here. Because then when you sign, it will leave you that space to sign. So again, just by adding those that extra layer you've got here, you've got your slider and open it up and you have this nice space on the inside, which I think is really fun. The other thing for some of you that don't, haven't seen what, um, some of what our Dare to Be Artsy products do, remember the die that cut this stamp set out, this one's stamped and colored in, and there's a die that matches, but this same die will actually cut this penguin out. There's a really cool pattern on the back. And then I also wanted to show you how easy it is to color the penguin. For those of you, some of you love coloring all the time and some are get a little bit intimidated. What's great about these penguins is they are so easy to color. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so what I like to do for these penguins and anything that's icy and stuff is just use two shades of light blue. This is B000 and B00 from your uh, Copic markers. But you could e even do just like a light, a really light blue Tombow. Um, this, see how light that is? So just, um, this is 451, a Tombow color. You could just do one color if you wanted. Anytime you have like a, um, like a snowman or these penguins, something that's white, don't just leave it white because it's very flat. So I'm gonna, color this in and I'm going to pretend the light is coming from the top right. I'm going to add some blue around the bottom. If the light's coming here, that means this side's going to be darker. So I'm, I'm brushing in. This is my lightest color. The same with this little baby penguin. I'm just going from the outside to the back on the back side. And then if this ice, uh, this piece of ice is going to have um, I'm going to just come in from this side and the back, and then maybe there's, it's going to be a little darker behind the penguins. The penguin's going to cast a little shadow. So this is just really fast, but you can kind of see I've already started creating a light source, right? And then if you want to, you can then take just one shade darker and go over the same area, but not quite as far in. Again, by just going around that outside, um, that's made that look more dimensional. And then I'm just brushing a little bit into the water. Okay, let's go ahead and add some red. And for this, again, I just took two colors. This is R14 or R14 and R17. I'm gonna go ahead and color his hat. I'm going to leave the little stripe and the little circles white. And I could just stop here with the one color. I mean, that's that still looks really cute, right? But if I go with one more darker color and you again use that same light source, I'm just going to put a little bit of dark around that one edge. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, let's add a little bit of blue to the pom pom. I probably should add a little bit of color to his little beak. Oh, that would be good if we had a color that actually was not dead here. Again, these penguins are so easy to color. 
again, I just kind of wanted to show you a really simple way to make white look more rounded. I keep going the wrong direction. There we go. Turn this back around. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed our little card today and go be sure and um, join our Dare to be Artsy Facebook group. There it is. If you go to Facebook, go to Artsy Community and you guys can join there because we love to see what you guys are doing. And um, it is, I'm in major design mode now. So we've been getting some ideas on some new stamp sets and I'm gonna start designing some new paper. And anyway, so if you guys have any desires, uh, you know, you're looking for a stamp set or a theme that you haven't seen out there, um, join the artsy community so you guys can share your ideas we i have a die that i just am also done with but anyway if you go to the artsy community we'll start sharing some of those new new designs with you guys so i um again hi denise um anyway i hope you guys had fun this week have a great rest of your week and i dare you to be artsy so see you next monday bye